Welcome to the new Humber River Hospital, which officially opened its doors on October 18th of this year. I'm Ann Ulsher, the Chief Operating Officer of the Intelligent Health Association. Our association is a vendor neutral, technology agnostic, global organization dedicated to educating the healthcare community on how technology is improving patient outcomes, patient safety, and operating efficiencies. We are extremely pleased to be here in North America's first fully digital hospital. Known as Lean, Green, and Digital, this 656 bed facility focuses on using the latest technology to ensure treatment is efficient and effective. Additional highlights of this new site include expanded emergency services to accommodate over 130,000 visits per year, complemented by an urgent care center at the Finch Street site that will provide care to another 30,000 visits per year. Expanded ambulatory services, including more capacity for cancer care, orthopedics, and geriatrics. Patient-centered care with 80% single patient rooms, providing amenities for family members and helping prevent the spread of infections. Modern diagnostics equipment for detailed, accurate patient diagnosis and treatment, and portals of care for easy access and less walking within the building. During today's tour, you will get a glimpse of how technology is transforming the healthcare experience for both healthcare providers as well as patients. We begin in the central nursing station where nurses report when they first arrive on shift. Each floor is equipped with a nursing station midway down the hall and one at the end of the hallway. Upon arrival, each nurse logs into the Meditech EMR system, assigns themselves to their patients, and logs into the ASCOM phone. The ASCOM phone is used by a variety of disciplines and providers throughout the organization. In addition to its telephone features and capabilities, the system integrates with the following hospital systems, nurse call system, integrated bedside terminal, or IBT, and the real-time locating system. The ThoughtWire Notification Manager software application receives the alerts and messages from the above devices and provides seamless communication to the end user for alerts, code alerts, and specialty alarms and subscription messages. When the nurse comes on shift, she signs into the ThoughtWire Notification Manager app on her phone and is assigned, replacing one of her colleagues who is coming off shift. Her bed patient assignments are already captured by the system and she is ready to receive clinical notifications, nurse call events, and relevant building security notifications through the app. The first patient as the shift begins is Molly Brown. As I approach Molly's room, we see a room sign monitor outside of the room displaying Molly's status. Using pictograms and brief notes related to allergies, infection control, hand hygiene, and falls risks, staff and visitors are alerted to any precautions that need to be taken upon entering Molly's room. At a glance, we are able to see that Molly has a latex allergy and is also at risk for falls. You should also note that Molly's privacy is ensured, as there is no name or unique identifier on this room side monitor. As I enter Molly's room, I am identified by my RFID-enabled badge. My presence in Molly's room is also displayed on the RTLS monitor at the central nursing station. From here, we see that Molly is already utilizing the integrated bedside terminal, or IBT. This IBT is Molly's gateway to information and services designed to empower her and connect her to her healthcare team. Once in Molly's room, as a care provider, I am able to utilize the IBT to review Molly's medical record with her, update her on her result status and chart. To do this, I tap my ID badge on the back of the IBT, which launches our EMR or Meditech system. My badge has been programmed with a simple single sign-in. From here, I log into the EMR utilizing two-factor authentication. So, Molly, we've been trying to work on your blood pressure, and we have brought it down a little bit, but it's still going up a little bit at one point during the day. So I want to adjust your medication a little bit, if that's okay with you. But we're doing well. We're getting close to our goal. Molly also has control over her environment. The IBT is integrated to the hospital building automation system, which allows Molly to control the lights and temperature in her room. Additionally, she's able to adjust the tint level on the chromatic glass windows to reduce energy consumption. When Molly is discharged, the room settings will reset to default and housekeeping will be notified to prepare the room for the next patient.
The bedside terminal also serves as Molly's entertainment center for video chatting, surfing the internet, reading, and watching TV or movies. Alone in her room, Molly realizes that she forgot to mention that she gets nauseated when receiving analgesia and wonders if she can get some gravel with her pain medication. She pushes her nurse call button to request assistance. The Notification Manager application in concert with the nurse call system and the unified communications infrastructure enables Molly to directly communicate with the staff. Her request is communicated to the central nursing station where a call can be answered or relayed directly to specific staff at the location. Simultaneously, the call request is also sent to Molly's assigned nurse on the nurse's mobile phone through the ThoughtWire Notification Manager application. In this case, the call has been relayed to the mobile phone. The nurse call system in conjunction with the ThoughtWire Ambient Alert Management enables workflow optimization starting from an initial patient request through fulfillment. The ASCOM and ThoughtWire integrated system enables full reporting on the entire workflow. To optimize the workflow of a nurse responding to a call with a variety of different options allows the nurse to prioritize the calls based on patient needs, organize the requirements of the calls to be prepared when going to see patient, and ultimately spend less time finding resources that are required for the care, and consequently she spends more time with the patient. We initially estimated nurses would walk about 12 kilometers a day, double what they do in the old HRH buildings. We wanted nurses to spend more time with patients, so we needed something to reduce the walk time. This concludes today's tour of the inpatient room at the Humber River Hospital. We have seen how Molly has been firmly placed at the center of her care experience through the integration and leveraging of a number of digital systems. Please pick up a tour guide and visit the vendors who have worked together to make Humber River Hospital the front runner of intelligent hospitals in North America today. Mm -hmm.